Hello my Sock Universe! With a delay of one week we're coming to my favorite review every year, which is the Serie A review. You know, I love Serie A, I love uh, Italian teams, I love Italy, uh, has everything there. There's so many great jerseys in a recent poll, you even voted that Serie A probably has the best jerseys overall. And as we'll see, we have a wild variety. I can show you nearly 80 jerseys in there. Actually, I will show you pictures of a total of 83 jerseys, but you know, sometimes it's just sponsor variation. Speaking of which, there are, however, a few occasions here where the jersey might have the same design, however, the sponsor can make a huge difference. And so, for a few select cases, I actually have split it up. I have given two different ratings for jerseys with different sponsors, uh, which I have not done previously. But, um, and it's not for every jersey, but sometimes it does happen. So there. Uh, of the 20 teams in Serie A, I actually have jerseys of 16 of these. I'm wearing Milan. Yeah, a little bit of a, a selection that is probably not as exciting in the sense that I'm a Milan fan. I always wear Milan. Uh, but you know, uh, my, I let my girls decide. I step aside the Cagliari jersey here. You will not see that much. I could put 15 up there, putting Udine. Uh, here's the 16th team. It's Salernitana. I decided to leave them out, but hey, they get now a special place in this video. Um, the pictures in this um, video I've taken mostly from Football Kit Archive, a website I can warmly recommend, sometimes for footy headlines, and for some teams, looking at you, Ledger, had to go to the club's web store uh, because the pictures on Football Kit Archive are really not that great. Actually, it changed my rating. The rating that I have here is purely mine. I rate all jerseys from 1 to 10, and then within each rating, I also try to rank them. So we're going really from worst to best jersey. This was a really, really tough task, and I'm not sure how consistent I will be uh, if I would have to do this again. I'm gonna be honest with you, some are really, really hard choices in there. But in the end, I went through it now two or three times. I feel overall confident with that. Let me know yours as well. And I would say, let's start the worst jer jersey. The lowest rating I gave out was a two star. For me, the worst jersey this season is this Cagliari away jersey. It's not a bad jersey per se, the sponsors are in it. And I even think that the sponsors, uh, I even like the Sardinia sponsors, so colorful. It's just, it would look, look much better on a much plainer shirt, you know, not the color inside. We'll see a uh, jersey that uh, is very, very similar to it, that looks a whole lot better. Uh, next up is Torino. I don't know what they're doing. I think the only thing I like here is the bull just by itself, but the color scheme and everything else is just completely off. Really don't like that one. Uh, also the Sassuolo uh, third jersey, uh, please. What is that supposed to be? Is this nuclear rainfall? Really don't like that one. Three stars, there were some prominent jerseys in there. For instance, we stay with Sassuolo. I, this is a jersey I just don't get. Uh, Sassuolo had some nice jerseys. Uh, we've seen this template, I think, with Heidenheim before. Uh, it just... Uh, and I think the picture itself uh, the also doesn't do it much favors. Then you will be surprised, the Milan home jersey. It's not a Milan home, home jersey. It's supposed to be something like this, but honestly, uh, this M shape and so on, it just... As a third jersey, I think this might actually work. As a home, similar to the uh, Inter home jersey with the snake print pattern that we had, I think, two seasons ago. This one, it just doesn't work for me. Uh, I rate it very, 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 very low. The other Milan jersey, I will like a whole lot better in there. Uh, also, the Bologna third. Uh, that was one that I'm going back for. I like kind of the idea, but it's just way too messy. Um, I think there might be some out there that like it. I personally don't. It's it's way too messy. Uh, same thing goes for Udinese third. Um, yeah, took a little bit of page out of Juventus. Uh, black and white and a whole lot of yellow. But the pattern, I, I think this would work better if it was not so high contrast. Yes, an artist did help in there. Uh, not liking that one, honestly. The Inter home is another one that I just don't get. Uh, in the first leagues, I really thought that this might actually be some, something, but then look at the sleeves. It's uh, uh, and They are completely unmatched. The black goes on one sleeve over on the other side. It stays the same. Then this pixelated striping effect, the color in blue. 
it is just messy and then you know the logos are in yellow but why couldn't be the sponsor in yellow speaking of sponsor here i keep it all together we have multiple versions of this shirt we have the air max plus shirt uh that just added a little bit yellow on top yeah you you can do it uh and I think actually the Paramount Plus sponsor is not a, a bad sponsor. It actually looks quite, quite nice. But then they, of course, Paramount Plus. We have Transformers. We have uh, the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. And we have Star Trek. I actually think that the Star Trek sponsor is of all the ones that looks the best. But I don't want to make any judgment out there. They will be champions in this jer a jersey. But it's again a jersey that honestly I cannot get on board with. Same thing with the Juve home. Here a little bit more. I mean, I see they have on a payoff on the zebra, um, in, uh, you know, nickname of Juventus, and it's kind of zebra stripe. There's like a fur, but then all adding all the yellow in. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's not one of my favorites. So you see all the three giants of the Italian game have really, really, really bad home jerseys. Let's go to a four star cat category. Uh, the Cagliari home. I could like is a whole lot better. Yes, sponsors is one issue, but the other issue, my bigger one, is that on the red side, the blue is bleeding in. I don't like that. That really takes this jer jersey down. I sports where you can definitely do better there. Uh, the Empoli special jersey. I'm not even sure if this was worn. I don't like a color combination like at all. Uh, and I know green and blue is very under underappreciated, but these tones of green and blue, not doing it for me. Uh, Monza away, not a bad idea per se, however, sponsors. The Motorola sponsor was red, you know, at least a little bit more, um, not digging that, that one. Monza is always let down by sponsors. The Sassuolo home, uh, striping overload, and then the center stripe is much thinner than all the other green stripes. Nah, can't do it. And I think there should also be stripes on the, on, on the sleeves. The Empoli away. Empoli always has rather blood jer uh, jerseys. Uh, this is white. Yeah, there's a whole lot of the blue, but then the sponsors are also in all color. I never, it's always the same with Empoli uh, for, for me. The Udinese away. Um, I think my biggest gripe with that, that, that was that the accent colors are not black and white, but rather uh, navy and white. And then the this pinkish reddish wavy thing not so sure uh the sponsors i'm actually not so uh yeah i mean at the eu song Ferruri venezia giulia this was probably centered i would like it better but you know it's I, I i'm actually because it's local i'm okay the price to pay you can get rid, rid of uh the serenitana special jersey is um inspired by the old castle from the 8th century, it overlooks Salerno. Yeah, okay, I see the crumbling stones, but why do we have them pink on there? Not doing it for me, also way too many small sponsors. The Inter third. Uh, I, it's less about the orange, it's more about the accents. Uh, two gray tones, I think you make this black, make this blue, and I think you're onto something, and maybe for once you could use a full color crest as well. Just an idea out there. And the cocarda on a crew neck can be very well central. I hate it when they pull it just up the Nike sleeve. It completely develops it. It actually should be instead of the club's crest. Just saying it, this is how it has been for most of the time. It's just now that club's crest takes precedence. Uh, the Sarantana away um, also, I think, a little bit let down by the template. I overall like the C uh, theme in there. Sponsors, every, everything is the same color. See, uh, this is what you can do, Cagliari. Um, but I think it's the, this stripe here that bugs me a little bit. I think it could be done, uh, you know, it's very geometric up top and then on, on the body. It's a little bit more playful. Not necessarily digging that one. Uh, the Lecce third. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. Red and yellow, good. But all these gradients in there, especially the one where then a little bit white is, I think that should be yellow, not white. Not good. Empoli home. Yeah, it's Empoli home. Uh, I probably would like it better if the gross uh, would be the O, there would be white and not green and uh, red. But other than that, okay. It's Empoli. As I said, it's Empoli. Em Empoli always has something really, really boring, except once they had a lion, which, yeah, that was great. Five-star jerseys.
The Salentana third. Yeah, there, there was one that was going back and forth. Uh, yes, I understand why the sponsors are white. They, they just don't fit with the overall look of the jersey. This would, would be one where I could lose all the sponsors. Or I think it's an interesting look. Kind of a little bit of play black and then with the club's colors. Uh, the Atalanta home has a weird pattern, very geometric pattern that makes the stripe look faded or kind of has a little bit of jeansy look, uh, which annoys the heck out of me. When I watch At Atalanta scene, it looks like an old blue jersey, you know, a dark blue and a, light, uh, a lighter blue uh, striping effect. And also weird placement of the sponsors. Not doing it for me. Uh, Monza home. I have not said it. I had the away jersey. Um, I like that they have this checkerboard pattern. You know, Monza circuit and so on. A little bit Formula One inspired, but it's done so. Blah. I think you can do this the whole stripe this way. You get something better. Again, sponsors the U Power sponsor. It's just awful up there. If the lion was at least in red or something to fit a little bit better, 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 better in there. I think without that. That jersey actually has some potential. Get rid of the piping and so on, and maybe do a little bit more with this checkerboard pattern. But yeah, Monza jerseys since they are at least since they are in Serie A, I never have been a fan of them. <laughs> Napoli Halloween jersey, too much on on your nose, too many skulls on there, and you know I <laughs> I don't mind having a skull on a jersey. Uh, Nah, and nah, <laughs> just doesn't do it. Uh, the Fiorentina home, for me, this is the nerdiest jersey of them all. Uh, they're trying too much. A, the color is awful. I think this is the main reason why I take it down. But then there is this uh, pattern on there, which is made out of a lot of um, flowers that are intertwining to make a DNA helix. Bah. Too much. It's just too much. Uh, I think the flowery theme, go with one of the two and so on and do something about the color. Uh, Juventus third jersey. Yeah, it's black. It's gray, but white and the white sleeve cuffs. Boring. Boring. That's, I guess, the best way to say it. Uh, Lecce put out a commemorative jersey for two players that passed away 40 years ago on the 40th anniversary of their passing. They had a game, so they wore this one with the two players on there. It's a better version of the third jersey, I gotta say, and it's a nice me memory, but you know, it's also not a great jersey, let's put it that way. The colory third, you know, here you see the sponsors can be in one color. I think the color scheme is pleasing. You have the little red sleeve cuffs, maybe the crest could have used full color. Well, that was not so bad, but what's up with the dots here around the neck and on the shoulders? Ventilation? I don't know. Uh, the Torino away. We are now entering the cream colored portion of this countdown, more, more or less. There is something about this that, that I like. And again, I, the Barretta sponsor up there has been now for a long time. Still bugs me a little bit. But uh, there's something about the crest to kind of have the bull in red on there that makes it actually quite nice. And the color is not so bad, but it's also a rather bland jersey with weird sleeve cuffs, if you look at them. Um, we are entering six stars. The Hellas third jer jersey plays homage to, I think, the 84 season, uh, the, the season before they became champ uh, champions, with an all style crest. However, too many sponsors that make this uh, jersey look a little bit, you know, uh, too blah. I like the color. The all style crest, also not necessarily exactly my thing, but you know, it's not a bad jersey. Let's put it that way. Uh, the Roma away, yes, this will get a lot of hate, everything, but I'm not a big fan of most of the Roma jerseys out there. This one, the most thing that bugs me is that the accent colors of this cream colored jersey are black. Put, give me some Roma colors here. Give me some red. I think this would instantly improve this jersey. I also think you could do something about the color. Yes, the pattern is spectacular and there are some ASR um, uh, and uh, logos in there that make this jersey actually really cool up close. But the sponsor, blah, and the accent color, yeah, it looks like the Roma crest has been slapped down. There's no connection there. That's what I don't like. I think if you lose a red, yellow, uh, red uh, striping, you're onto something here. Uh, Torino home, not bad, but again, um, it's Torino home, and maybe the color is a little bit weird with this cut off front here, but you know, Torino. Napoli, again, another cream color jersey. They have, this was a special jersey that they wore, I think, a couple of times after the international break, uh, supposedly referencing the maritime history of Naples. Okay, okay. It's nice, but it's also not special. I think the color definitely looks off. 
if you ask me. Uh, the Roma Derby jersey. Um, this is just a jersey that I give six stars. The kit is a 10 star. And in play, this looked a whole lot better. I love the floppy collar. This is instantly great. I love the old star crest. Wonderful. The pattern, however, is lazy. This is just recycling a pattern from United a couple of seasons ago. If you keep this just without a pattern, I think you're onto something here. And then make the sponsors fit with the uh, remaining colors given. You probably have an absolute winner that would be a 10 star for me. But this way looks rather average, rather, rather boring. The kit, as I, again, I say, with white shorts and black socks, this is how I want to see Roma. It was great. Frosinone away. Um, there's a lot to like here, this wavy pattern. I don't know what this shape is supposed to be. Uh, but then again, sponsor, sponsor, sponsors. Um, we see a lot of Frosinone. Uh, the Udinese, when it was released without sponsor, I think it's a great jersey, especially with the little zebra logo. Love that one. I even think that the dark green adds an interesting egg accent color. I was driving by Udinese. I was thinking of getting that there was a rainstorm that I didn't buy this one. However, when I see it with all the sponsors on there, hmm, ah, we're taking an old dive here. I said we're gonna see a lot of frozen on it. I like the blue, the yellow is the club's colors. Um, not a bad jersey, let's put it that way. Uh, but you know, again, too many sponsors. Uh, Jan January way, what I like is that we get the club's colors on uh, top. I always like this one. I would like to see this more over the over the shoulders. I don't mind the colorful sponsor here because it kind of fits with the uh, club's colors as well. But yeah, it's not. I've seen better. Now the one that will have many people up in arms because I get a lot of love for this Roma jersey. For me, it's just so boring. Honestly, they took a Spain jersey and then added some Roma colors. Yes, color schemes. Da, da, da. Yes, there's a Lupetto on there. That, that, that's, that's great. I just find it a little bit underwhelming, especially with the Riot season sponsor. God, 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 be honest. It does not, doesn't scream Roma to me. I know, I'm on an island, but I'll die on that hill alone. Uh, I actually like the Frozen Nonne better, despite the sponsors, but there's something on there. You give me a little bit more to look at. You have the blue and then fading in the yellow. Yeah, and look how the crest with the yellow and blue stripe is actually connecting up with uh, one of the yellow horizontal lines. I actually like this. It's very, very playful. Uh, the Napoli third, I think as a jersey per se, is actually quite cool with the darkish, blackish, greenish and uh, gold. That looks cool. It's just not a Napoli jersey. This Scudetto is placed a little bit better. You know where the Scudetto should, should be. I told you before. Uh, the Atalanta third is also one. I think the color scheme throws me off, but there's a city map on there. It's always good. I think overall nice color. Nothing really bad. Maybe again sponsor placement, but um, more on the like side. It's just red, but you know, Maybe I'm too much conditioned Milan versus Inter that uh, that At 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 Atalanta issues a red jersey. The Fiorentina way, like the home, too many ideas in there. I love the flower sash, but don't put the same pattern on the sleeves. Also make the color a little bit more. I think if that was with white sleeves or even have one sleeve with the flowery pattern, the other one without and the one where the sash is going. And you're onto some, something. I mean, upon release, this is a really spectacular jersey, but I've always wondered, why do you put it on, 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 on the sleeves? So yeah, this jersey had um, potential for a whole lot more, I would say. Uh, the Empoli third, yes, uh, Empoli can actually release something that I kind of do like. I like the color scheme, it's dark blue and yellow. Yes, it's not exactly club's colors, but you know, at least there's blue there. I think this looks cool. Uh, same as the Lecce way, uh, maybe a bit over designed because of the double swan, but I love the navy shawl shoulders, then a little accents, and I also love how the two sponsors are there with the lines here. I think that looks actually quite in interesting. I wish the crest was a bit bigger and you know. Bet Italia pay should probably go be low diggy. Uh, the Verona home, um, very similar to the one that I have hanging back there with the uh, striping um, maybe a too dark i think the sponsor should be in yellow as well there's something really cool and there's a lot of writing uh the bentegodi is now 60 years old 
and they put all the uh, nicknames of the stadium in this uh, in slightly brighter stripes. Um, again, if the sponsors would fit better with the other app applications, namely if they were yellow, and maybe the sleeve sponsor also, this would be a much, much better shirt. But it's not a bad Verona jersey, I gotta say. Uh, the Genoa home, I have it also. Meanwhile, um, I think without sponsor it look, looks even better, but I think it's a really, really, really nice shirt, especially with the C pattern in there. You saw maybe the unpacking uh, for this one. Uh, I, I really like this shirt. I really like it. Like it doesn't do anything special, but it is Genoa. Quintessential Genoa to me. Uh, the Lazio third, um, maybe a little bit boring, although the sleeve cuts add a whole lot of interest here. Mizuno doing not a bad jo uh, job here at all. And then the Atalanta Christmas shirt is the best Atalanta shirt. Uh, the color, I think, takes it down a notch. I really like the pattern on there, the black and then the tartan pattern. There's something there. I know Atalanta is not in Scotland, but it's interesting. And uh, that's therefore, I do like it. Seven stars. Now we're getting into the really good ones. Yes, Roma, SPQR sponsor, immediately lifted. Immediately lifted. I have the same gripe. Uh, should be uh, red. Or maybe golden even. But golden would not stick out. But that's the one that would improve this shirt immediately. Uh, the Monzo third. There's something there. Again, the checkup board pattern kind of the, with the, you know, the off center strap through through crest on a black shirt, the red and white. This looks really, really strong. And I absolutely love it. And here the U part, the Motorola doesn't uh, annoy me. Maybe though the checkup board pattern on the bottom looks weird. Looks weird. Uh, Lazio home. Classic Lazio shirt. You don't need to do anything wrong. I like that the eagle, I think it's called Olympia, is also kind of in the pattern in there. So yeah, uh, not exciting, but also nothing bad. Kind of, kind of faulted. The Fiorentina fourth jersey uh, with this marbly effect. I actually like where Fiorentina uses a little bit of red because it's kind of also a color that I associate with Florence. And then, you know, the mar marble, but I think it looks quite cool of overall. As especially the jersey, cannot wrong it for that. Um, I don't know for what Lecce released this special jersey, but it looks cool. I really like it. It has a nice color and the uh, black and the gold. Yes, over, over, overused, but kind of here the sponsor, every, everything works quite well together. And then uh, in, in the crest, you keep the club's colors. That's, I think, a nice touch. Uh, the Atalanta away, again, color is a problem, but over, overall, this pattern I like. Maybe you could lose the side stripe here. To uh, it boxes maybe the hor the hor horizontal bands in the club's colors a little bit in. Love the just the round detail of the crest and has a swirly pattern kind of symbolizing the hairs of Atalanta. I think it's pretty cool. Um, the Lecce home, uh, yes, it's like all the other Lecce jerseys is in house produced, but this has something cool. I mean, you have this pattern in there, but on, on, on top you get the uh, picture of the fan block in on the shoulders that i i think is cool that the stripe is then broken up by the sponsor it's something that's not so cool again i think the bet italia page should go below if you need it uh but i, I think there's something really cool i even like the color quite some um ledger there's something about the ledger colors that i uh, always enjoy milan third another one that will split opinions i do like this one i wish I would have this one already. The back looks weird. And I know it's a Marmite jer uh, jersey, but it's a jersey that they actually have been relatively successful in whenever they were, wear were wearing it. Um, as a third jersey, I'm all right with it. I'm really all right with it. Uh, also here, um, while I sometimes prefer the full color Milan crest, here I think going with a pink and white one is cool. And the message behind is, you know, inclusivity and so on. Really can can, can get or get, get on board with this one. It's the blue pants is maybe the one thing that annoys me with this a little bit, to be honest. I think if the pants were a little bit more purplish or greenish would be better. Colliery away, worn after uh, Gigi Riva died. That's why the 11. Look at what a pretty jersey this suddenly is. Maybe the placement of the 11 is a little bit odd. Would have placed a little bit more sponsor. But that jersey is actually pretty. I gotta say, there's something there, maybe the shoulders, you know, that one side is one color, no, that's maybe the, but I think I, that's pretty cool. The Hellas fourth jersey is also uh, celebrating the Bentegoldi Stadium, the 60th anniversary. Um, 
I never really got this all blackout uh, idea, but here it kind of works. I love that we have this grayish uh, jer jer jersey with the club's colors as accents, and then the black sponsor, you still see them, but they're not quite, quite there. That's something really nice. I find this is a very, very strong look, very limited jersey also. Uh, Roma, yeah. Put an SPQR on there and this jersey is immediately improved. I still find the overall template and then so on. I, I, there's something that is very average to me. A Lupetto and SPQR don't make this to me as 10 star jersey. However, with SPQR, a Roma always should have SPQR and I know they're letting go of a lot more money. It just looks awesome. It absolutely looks awesome. Um, I also like this Frozen on the Fourth jersey. The color scheme is something different and really cool. And you know, sponsors, I know there are a lot of tons of sponsors, but it fits, it fits all, all, all together. Really fine jersey, that one. Eight stars. The Bologna home. Uh, this is actually classic Bologna striping. If we look at, at the body and then the crests all over in there with a single sponsor, all cool. They drop the ball on only one thing that uh, prevents this from being much higher. The right sleeve, the one where the Macron logo is, should be in red. That's the one thing that really annoys me with this jersey. Uh, with, with, with jer yes, it's a little bit too blue leaning. You messed up the half half look. But I like they have a very consistent theme going going through uh, with the V's around here. But that one sleeve should should be in red. Sorry to say. Uh, I really like the Napoli weight. Drop the piping and it's even better. But uh, you know the Mount Vesuvius on there. It's not my favorite Napoli jersey, uh, but when this dropped, I thought, hmm, this is probably one that I should try and get because it's really cool. Because I love when there's such a local theme in there. Yes, if the accent colors were not so uh, were light, lighter blue, I probably would like it even better. But it's a really nice jersey. jersey. It's see Naples and die for me when I see this uh, picture. The January 4th. What a retro look this is. And you know, sponsors also fit, too many sponsors, I think without sponsors better, but I, I love the uh, retro look. And I think when once this got released, it was even voted very high as one of the best churches released, uh, I think in April or March. It's gorgeous. My only question, why is the Kappa logo in white? It's my only question there. Uh, the Inter away, and here we have Parent Plus, I think is this, a really well done jersey. I wish the sash would carry over onto the shoulders. That's my only gripe. It's also the Inter logo now in full color for once. I think it's only this. Is it even the second time? I also love that, uh, you know, the sash reverts. You know, you have uh, on top, we have the blue on top and on the bottom, we have the blue on the bottom. The pixel pattern leaves uh, room for the sponsor and Par Paramount Plus. They also release it, but never wore it with the uh, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, which I think is really cool. But I think Paramount Plus, I, I prefer this is a pretty. This is a really pretty jersey. Again, Cocarda, more in the center. That's the only thing, but that's a jersey worthy of a champion, to be honest. Salentana home uh, gives me all the red retros going back to a mid-90s jersey uh, with the big collar, the nice sleeve cuffs. Uh, it looks looks really, really cool. I mean, when I watched Salentana play it a few time, times I do, I thought, this jersey has so much potential. Maybe the sponsor a little, a little bit too, too much, but uh, this is a jersey that should be worn by a much, much better team, to be honest. Napoli home, this is the best home jersey this year. I love what they've been doing. It could be much higher if they lose the piping, but I love the Italian cuffs. You were after all champions and then you messed it all up, but that's a different story, not the power part of this video. But I love that we get back to classic Napoli home jersey. Again, lose the white piping and you are, and this would be a, probably a 10 star for me. Um, I love the Ellis away jersey. And I know we can discuss it, but I, uh, there's one thing I love. The sponsors, yeah, not great. I love the blue band across, but what I love absolutely the sleeves, uh, the sleeve cuffs. There is a cityscape on there of Verona. I mean, how cool is that? That makes it really stand, stand out to me. 
kind of on my list. I doubt that I will ever get this shirt, but, uh, at least for it, a, a price that I like, but that makes it really, really cool. Maybe I should drive to Verona. Uh, I also like the Juve Way. Uh, it's by Monte Rosa, uh, which I think is the highest mountain in Italy. Now it's, Mo it's Monte Bianco, of course, more Mo blah, but it's uh, uh, close by on the uh, Italian Swiss border. I've seen it from the Swiss side. I like this. I like this, the pattern in, in, in there, it really, really works. And with the rather dark jerseys, this is the one light option that they have. Uh, makes total sense, also has all clubs colors, black, white, and the original color, pink. That, that, that's a winner. Maybe the lightning bolts out of the Jeep and we're onto something. Nine stars, now they're really, really, really good ones. No home, home jerseys anymore. This Milan fourth jersey. Yes, it is black and gray, but it fits with the aesthetic that they are going for. And then, you know, the Gothic architecture, really a very, very nice jersey. I got I to I gotta say, very fashionable as well. Really, really cool. Wish I had that, that one. The Genoa 3rd, Genoa celebrated 100th, the oldest team in Italy. Han 130 years, they went out with a golden jersey. How pretty is this shirt? How pretty is this shirt? It's and the Grifo by itself, absolute, absolute stun at this one. Uh, the Lazio away says it's celebrating, I think it's also uh, 50 years of their championship in 1974 uh, with the Italian cuffs, but uh, it's of course the navy and the old style crest that really makes it outstanding. The Mizuno logo though looks a little bit off here. I don't know, but other than that, uh, I love that one. The Milan away jersey, yes, I rated this 10 in my Champions League jersey review. Honestly, because it's gray and the crest is also grayish, I take it in a stuff. It's a really, really, really good shirt. Very stylish, the pattern, there's so much cool stuff in, in there. It's a really good shirt, one that I love to see. Fortunately, they don't play always that well when they're wearing this jersey. Uh, the Roma third, I think, is even better. Uh, yes, it's simple, but here the Lupetto crest, it is... Uh, in the roundel and the sleeves, uh, the, you know, the three stripes and the sleeve cuffs are just beyond. Uh, again, the sponsor, and I wonder if this sponsor could use a little bit of the aroma colors, would also lift this jersey. Uh, same, same thing goes for the Adidas logo. The Bologna away, I love a sash, I love a floppy collar. Maybe the crest placement prevents it from being 10. I'm not sure if the centered crest is so great here, uh, but it's a great jersey. That's how you do a Bologna away jersey. I love the Fiorentina third, taking the flowery theme to the next level. Also, it's a dark purple with purple. I saw you take, you keep the club's colors, but you have a red, red. I absolutely love this. This is a really, really, really cool shirt. That's one, I, uh, yeah, also. I mean, all that are nine and, and above are kind of, yeah, I really would like to have these jer jer jerseys, but this one is right up there. Uh, one of the best jer jerseys this, uh, released this season. Only two are better. Those are my 10 stars ones. The Roma third with SPQR. <laughs> you knew this was coming. You knew this was coming. Uh, it just elevated SPQR, Senatus Populusque Romanum, Senate and the people of Rome, what has been used uh, or, or already in uh, ancient Rome. It just lifts this jersey to another level. Absolutely love this one. I actually think I prefer SPQR over a plain version and then the one with the other sponsor. But I love the sleeve cuffs on this one. This is just ah, so strong. So strong, all star crest, grand that color, uh, beautiful shirt. There's only one that's better. It's the fifth jersey of Milan. Uh, same as the Pleasures collection. Uh, has been worn in place, so that's not a, that was not a goalkeeper jersey. Cream colored, the color wonderful, then the gothic pattern inspired by the cathedral, also the pattern on there. <sighs> gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. What's not gorgeous is the price of this one. That should take it down a notch. Uh, I love this shirt. Absolutely, absolutely love this shirt. Unfortunately, they lost in that one wearing, while well, wearing it, uh, but absolutely gorgeous shirt. That's my favorite this year. Yes, and I'm not biased here. This is really, really go go gorgeous. Both of these pleasure kits were great. I like this one better because it uh, it has this contrast in there that makes it interesting. So yeah, that was it. This is my rating uh, of these jerseys. Now 
let, let me know which jerseys in here did you like, which ones did you dislike, and so on. Uh, do you agree with my rating? Where I'm completely off, tell me. I know the Roma jerseys. I'm I'm dying on 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 the, on the till. Uh, the Roma home jerseys could be better, but I would like to hear your input there as well. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.